Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm coming to you today with another quick video. I always wanted to try this, but I just, just, just didn't go out and try to find a rug. Well, yesterday I went out, I found the rug at Home Depot. It is a 18 by 30 um, doormat. I keep saying rug, but it's a doormat. I'm sorry. And I want to um, sublimate on it. So I'm going to sub sublimate, sublimate this picture right here. I'm a cancer survivor. As of this month on the 18th, I will be cancer free. It's backwards, but you get the idea. And I'm going to put that on it. Plus, it's going to have a ribbon on it. So I already printed this out. I printed it out on my Epson 7720. Um, the paper is 11 by 17. And I did it in purple. I did it in my silhouette. So I'm going to press it and see how it turned out. I'm going to make a board to put underneath it so that when I pull it, it'll be sturdy. And I'm also going to tape this down Um the paper i'm gonna tape it down some people been i noticed they um stapled it but i'm not gonna staple it in my rug i'm gonna tape it and they did say when you press it, it has an odor so i'm in my basement i'm gonna open up the window and i'm gonna try it this is my first one hope it come out nice but i'm gonna be back to show you before i press it and how i'm going to um add my heat tape to it so stay tuned Okay, I got this from the dollar store. It's the poster board. And I just taped it like this until I get a um, something that's a little more sturdier to put my mat on. I'm going to put my mat on here before I put it on the heat press. Okay, continue. Okay, here go my mat. And I'm just placing it on the board. I could have added a... I think if you just get two of these boards from the dollar store and tape them up, it'll be sturdy enough so when you put it on your heat press, then I'm going to get my images and place them how I want them. These are the two images I was showing y'all. And I, and I, like I said, I sublimated it on the, with the, I'm sorry. I got to heat press the mat first before you lay your, photos down your images make sure you heat press this and do the lint roll on that so let me do this and we'll be right back okay we're heat press to 400 and we're gonna heat press at 70 not 60 70 but you got to heat press this first so we're gonna heat press this first And make and then you're gonna have to adjust. Can you get closer? You're gonna adjust this because it gotta make sure to be able to snap the proper way. See how the board helps you to remove to move this for you. Okay, I gotta adjust it. I could see what you were doing. What? You have to keep playing with this to adjust it. Oh, that ain't good enough. I'm about to tip the thing over. Woo! I need my husband here. I'm not supposed to do this, y'all, but I cannot snap this thing down for nothing. And it has a smell. I'm in my basement, though. But I cannot snap it down. And plus, 
but we got my niece gonna have to help me I just want to warm this up first and she's gonna help me because it's like I said you want to get two of these boards right here because it's kind of bending right here it ain't you know good enough but we're gonna put it here first and I'm gonna um, take the lint brush One second, let me take this one roll and start a new one off. You know you could take these off and then a new one. If you want to roll, because these rugs have a lot of lint on it. So make sure you take your, and roll that lint off. Now it's not gonna sublimate on the black part, because it ain't gonna sublimate on this rubber. But this is 100% polyester. You just wanna make sure you get all that lint off. Ooh, look at that. Work it too hard, girl, work it too hard. Look at that, look at, look, 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 look. Don't worry, I got backups. So we're gonna pause it for a minute so I can lay my image down and we'll be right back. Okay, as you see, I put my heat tape down like that because you don't want no ghosting because if it moves you're gonna have ghosting so i did notice when i this is my first time doing this y'all but i've been watching quite a few of you guys y'all awesome and um if you haven't did it try it this is my first time if i make a mistake it's okay but i'm gonna put on a piece of um butcher paper on top I'm just letting it heat up a little bit more because I thought I had it at 400 and I didn't so I got like seven more minutes before it's 400 and like I said my niece we're gonna pause it because so she can help hold it down my left arm I can't use put too much pressure because I had lip nose took it out because I'm a cancer survivor yes as the 18th it will be one year so I can't you know do too much with this arm I don't want to hurt myself or make it swell up so she's going to help me to press down on it maybe I can't shed it because it's not up that much too much or back I don't know but we're going to figure this out so we're going to do this side first and come back and do that side so we'll be right back mm -hmm. okay Y'all, that was a little struggle. Um, I got to figure out because I can't use this arm and you're supposed to let it hold, but we had to hold, press our body, body on it. So here's the reveal. Like I said, this is my first time. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's supposed to be my first time, y'all. I'm loving it. Can y'all see that? Hold on. You can see it? Mm hmm. Uh, what y'all think, y'all? Let me know. Up. Okay, this is my first one. I think I did pretty good. I'll be back. Thank you. You still taping? Mm -hmm. Remember to subscribe. Hit the like button, y'all. Give me some likes and um, hit the bell to be notified the next time I come on. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you more things as I learn. Um, and thanks to the groups that I am, I'm learning so much. Um, and everyone have a blessed day. See you later.